Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon and I am your host. A day after breaking the news about the Senators rebrand being announced tomorrow, we have a Stanley Cup Finals preview. It is going to be the Dallas Stars versus the Tampa Bay Lightning in the 2020 Stanley Cup Finals. And this one's going to be an incredible series because it's a great story with Rick Bonus and the Dallas Stars versus the Tampa Bay Lightning, a team that should have been here a long time ago and it's finally broken through once again to reach the Stanley Cup Final. So let's break down the series and then I'll give my series uh, pick. So let's get to the goals per game. Let's get to the offense for both teams. So Tampa Bay is fourth in this p playoffs uh, with a 3.11 goals per game. And that's pretty good and not surprising for a team such as Tampa Bay with all that scoring power. Speaking of scoring power, Steven Stamkos may return. He's practicing with the team. Um, he has missed all the games so far in the round robin and of course in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Uh, so it be a huge get for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, for him, the captain, to return to the team in the Stanley Cup Finals. Now, it is TBD. We will see. Uh, the first game is going to be tonight. Um, but right now, we don't know if he will return. But there is a chance he will return at some point in the series. Now, Dallas had a 2.95 goals per game. Seventh in the playoffs is a little shocking. Because uh, Tyler Sagan, I believe, has scored like two goals in his last 20 games. So there's a lot of depth being uh, contributed there in Dallas. A lot of depth scoring. Uh, and, you know, anyone here knows that, that if you're going to win a Stanley Cup, you need a lot of depth scoring. So Dallas is getting it, um, and they're definitely not going to go down without a fight. They're going to score some goals. Now, on the power play, this is, I mentioned this in my Vegas versus Dallas uh, analysis, where uh, power play for Dallas is still incredibly high at 27.3%, fifth in the league in the in the playoffs, and Tampa Bay is low at 17.9 for 12th. You know, it's a little shocking Tampa Bay is so low with all the scoring power they have, like Kucherov, Braden Point, Victor Hedman. Uh, you can go on with like Sorelli, Palat, McDonough. they got so many players uh, that can contribute offensively. So that power play, you know, it's not a terrible percentage, but with all the talent that Tampa Bay has, it's certainly uh, shocking, uh, to say the least. Now let's get to uh, the goals against per game, where this is where Tampa Bay has an overwhelming majority um, advantage over the Dallas Stars, where at 2.21 goals against per game, they're tied third, third, good for third in the league on the in the playoffs. And 2.21 goals against per game is incredible. So you're looking, if you're looking at that as Dallas, it's gonna be really tough to break through that wall, which is Andre Vasilevsky and the defense. But Dallas is allowing 3.05 goals against per game, good for 16th. So that, that number doesn't really reflect this, the, um, the great play of Anton Kodobin, but um, it does show the skilled teams that Dallas has had to play and the teams that they've had to overcome. Like Vegas, I, I picked Vegas in six or seven in that series, and they took them down in five. So, um, you know, Dallas is not a team to be uh, messing with here. They, they're a team that deserves to be here for sure. On the penalty kill, it's relatively the same at Tampa Bay is at 83.6, and the Dallas Stars are at 83.3, so it's practically the same so the penalty kill will be the same I think the penalty kill will play a huge factor in the Stanley Cup finals because Tampa Bay 83.6% uh, compared to Dallas's power play at 27.3% um, if Dallas wants to win the series they're gonna have to capitalize on that power play uh, because Tampa Bay is just too good everywhere else and this is the one weak spot that Tampa Bay has so if you're Dallas you got to capitalize on this now the shots per game this is also important. Tampa Bay dominates with shots on goal with 35.5 per game with fifth in the in the league on the in the playoffs so far, while Dallas is at 33.1, I mean 30.7 pardon me for 12th in the league. So, while Dallas isn't shooting peppering shots on the net like the, the, the Tampa Bay Lightning, they're still getting a decent amount of shots and if you're above 30 shots per game, you, you, your team is able to carry offense. So that's a good sign. Uh, the shots against per game, uh, Dallas at 33.1, and Tampa Bay is at 30.7, so relatively the same. Dallas does give up a lot of shots, it seems, definitely more than Tampa Bay. So a team like Tampa Bay, who clearly, as we just mentioned, gets a lot of shots on net, uh, Dallas is going to want to have to you know, rely on Heiskanen, uh, Lundell, not Lundell, um, Essel Lindell, and of course uh, Klingberg to you know, really lock down that defense for the Stars. Now the goaltending... I've said this in every single series recap, I think. You're not going to win a series in the Stanley Cup playoffs without legitimate goaltending. And Vasilevsky and Kudobin are both just that. Vasilevsky in these playoffs is 14-5-0 with a 1.92 goals against average, good for third in the league, and a 9.31 save percentage, good for sixth in the league. Uh, Vasilevsky has been the rock that the Tampa Bay Lightning has needed, and he single-handedly, in my opinion, carried this team along with Victor Hedman and Braden Point, who have also carried this team. But Vasilevsky has been unreal and um, he is one of the key reasons why the Tampa Bay Lightning are here right now. 
Well, <laughs> same thing with Anton Kudobin. He's 12-6-0 in these playoffs with a 2.62 goals against average and a 9.20 save percentage. The goals against average is good for 17 in the league, while the save percentage is good for 13th in the league. While those numbers aren't as sexy as Vasilevsky's numbers, uh, they're still reliable numbers. They're still solid numbers, and they're numbers that will win you a Stanley Cup for sure. Uh, Kudobin has stepped up the play, and uh, you know he's notoriously as one of the best goal, uh, backup goal, uh, goal, goalies in the NHL. And right now, he's playing like one of the best goalies in the NHL in these playoffs. He's been absolutely spectacular, making the big saves when needed. And if the Dallas Stars are going to pull off this upset, it's going to be starting and ending with Anton Kudobin. Now let's get to the top scorers for each team. Firstly, uh, Nikita Kucherov. He has had excellent playoffs with 26 points. Six of those are goals. 20 of them are assists. So Nikita Kucherov has not missed a beat. He's been spectacular. Braden Point, nine goals, 16 assists for 25 points. Hedman, he has scored nine goals in 14 or 15 games, I believe, in these playoffs. And those don't include round-robin games. He didn't score in round-robin games. So in 14 or 15 playoff games, he scored nine goals as a defenseman. That's some Eric Carlson-type stuff, ladies and gentlemen. That is crazy. The assists at six for 15 total points. Now Dallas, Heiskanen leads with 22 points, five goals, 17 assists. Jamie Benn, 8 goals, 10 assists. And then Goryanov, 9 goals, 8 assists for 17 points. Uh, so, basically, the X-Factors for this series, for Tampa Bay's player game, um, hopefully Stamkos can go back, but basically for Tampa Bay's player game, um, and Stamkos returning. Uh, if Tampa Bay plays their game, and they you know they play to their abilities, and Stamkos returns, they should win this series without a doubt. Um, and for Dallas, it's Anton Kudobin. Can he stop one more elite team from scoring on him. He already stopped Vegas. He's already stopped the other teams he's had to face. Can he stop the Tampa Bay at Lightning? Can Rick Bonus, his great story, the former Ottawa Sanders coach, can Rick Bonus win his first Stanley Cup for a team that's been long coveting it since the late 90s? When I look at this series, I'm looking at a goaltending matchup uh, for Tampa Bay, a goalie who's been incredible, and a D Dallas Stars offense who's been surprising. Now, while I want to say Dallas in six or seven, and I really hope they win the Stanley Cup because I think Rick Bonus is a great story. Um, I think Anton Kudobin is a great story, just the way uh, uh, you know, a prototypical backup goaltender has propelled this team to the Stanley Cup Finals. You don't see that every day. Maybe Jake uh, Bennington, the other uh, Jordan Bennington last year, but you don't see that every day. Uh, so I think Tampa Bay wins this one in seven, and I hate to say that because I really don't want the Lightning to win this series. I really love to see Rick Bonus win at Stanley Cup. But I think I look at the goaltending. I, I prefer Vasilevsky over Kudobin, obviously. And I just look at all the little bit of advanced stats here. Now, the way Dallas would win, their X factor really would be score on the power play. They got to score on the power play. Um, but with, with Vasilevsky and that defense, it's going to be tough. So I think Tampa Bay in seven, but I think it's going to be a fun series to watch. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. So besides that, thank you all for watching. Please follow me on Twitter at Sensok underscore live stream dates of the games and of course breaking news and plenty of insider information as well please please uh, click the red button down there and subscribe to us uh, click that notification bell turn the notifications on so you can get notified whenever we make a new video because remember ladies and gentlemen we are the number one source for sanders content on youtube so thank you all for watching and stay tuned in the next few days for our interview with sanders for jace howerluck i'll see you then go sense go and enjoy the 2020 stanley cup finals good luck to both teams